What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded a video, but hopefully that's going to change soon. Right here behind me is my new car. It's a 2014 Dodge Dart Limited. If you guys have been following along with the channel for a while, you guys know I had a 2003 Honda Pilot. It was in a car accident not too long ago, and it was totaled out, so I had to get another car. And so this is my 2014 Dodge Dart Limited. So let's take a look at it. Whoa. Oh wow, I'm trapping on the way down I'm grinding on like a holy rail And I'll hit the slows and go ham Pray, oh no, I cannot take this slow I'm grinding on like a holy rail And I'll hit the slows and go crawl Yeah, praise, oh wow I'm trapping on the way down I'm grinding on like a holy rail And I'll hit the slows and go ham Yeah, pray, oh no I cannot take this slow I'm grinding on like the holy rail and now hit the slows and go pro, yeah Please don't take that powder, you don't got no reason Moving on top of mountains, homie got trapped on breathing Yeah, boo boo in my cabin Alright, so here it is, this is the 2014 Dodge Dart Limited Let's go ahead and take a walk around and then we'll look inside So here is the front See there, a nice looking headlights, we got the fog lights there Dodge emblem, nice little crosshair. Got the 17 inch rims. Taking a look on the back, you've got the racetrack lights, limited 2.4 multi air. Yeah, on this side, chrome door handles. It's got a sunroof. So let's go ahead and pop the hood, take a look at the engine, pop the trunk, take a look in there, and then we'll get into the car. Alright, so here's a look at the engine multi air 2.4 liter. You got the Dodge and the backup camera on the back as well. And here's the trunk. Got my little roadside kit. Got jumper cables and stuff like that in there. Bag seats there. Down here you got the spare and a jack. Go ahead and close this back up. All right, so right now I'm about to do a startup and then I'm gonna rev the engine uh, just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Go ahead and take a look inside. All right, so on the exterior, it has 17 inch rims. It's got available fog lights, which we do have. Heated side mirrors, it's got heated steering wheel, heated seats. Uh, it's got the LED racetrack tail lights back there. It's got the sunroof up here. And uh, it does have available dual exhaust tips. I do not have that. Um, that's something that might come in the future. We'll get into that in a little while. Interior, seats five. You got the driver's seat, passenger seat, and then three seats in the back. And in the back row, it's 60-40. So you have an available seven inch screen in the instrument panel. We do have that in this model. It shows vehicle information like your gas mileage, your tire pressure, your oil, your speed, uh, your speedometer, your digital readout, things like that. It also has an available 8.4 inch touch screen in the middle of the dashboard. We do have that. That shows you your radio, your climate control, your navigation, your phone. Uh, so mine's a 184 horsepower, 2.4 liter, four cylinder, about 171 pounds feet of torque. So it's an automatic, but it also has the dual stick. Uh, so I can change it to a stick shift and it does it automatically. Um, it's got 10 airbags, it's got them in the steering wheel, passenger side. It's got them in the, um, on the sides, like the cocoon and um, some other spots. It's got the blind spot warning on the uh, mirrors. 
Uh, it's got the backup camera with the uh, warning alert. It'll go off and uh, with the parking sensors. And that's pretty much it. It's got a uh, Bluetooth built in. Um, it's got CD drive, USB, auxiliary. Um, pretty much about it. So uh, let's take another look around the car and then I'll get into some of the things that I want to do with it. I was just looking inside. Another seat, another steering wheel, instrument panel. Touch screen, climate control, gear shifter, other seat, two cup holders, CD drive, USB, auxiliary. Got sunroof. So you got lights up top and your sunglass holder. All right, so it is push to start. All you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the start button, and it starts. You got your digital readout right here, digital instrument panel. Right there, you've got your speedometer. That's digital. You can change that to an actual speedometer right there. You've got your uh, Bluetooth, your tire pressure. You can change that to your oil life. You can change it to your oil temperature, your coolant temperature. And you can change it to your uh, average miles per gallon and your range your trip information and then your bluetooth or whatever audio you're in store messages and I usually just keep it on the digital readout um, over there you get your RPMs you got your temperature down at the bottom your miles you have on your car the time and at the top your range and how much miles you can go on your tank of gas and over to the right you have your fuel gauge so you get your automatic lights down there your window, power window, power locks, mirror controls. You got steering wheel controls right there, horn, uh, your cruise control. So on the back, you've got other controls for your radio and things like that. And to control the instrument panel. You got your uh, windshield wipers. And then you have the 8.4 inch screen here with two fans. You got your radio, uh, you got Bluetooth, and it has auxiliary. You got your climate controls, heated seat, heated steering wheel. You can turn the screen off. And then you got passenger heated seats. And your climate control, you can change it here or you can change it down here. The driver can be a different temperature than the uh, passenger, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and you can synchronize that the way you want. You got your navigation, you can put where to, certain addresses, you can view the map. You can find different gas stations, different stores in your area. And you've got your phone automatically connects to Bluetooth. You've got your phone book, your recent calls. You can dial a number. And then you've got your favorites up here at the top. And then you got Sirius Radio and then your settings. And you can see 60 gig for the driver. It's connected to my phone, the time. It's 52 degrees outside. And then the temperature for the passenger. Uh, so down there again, climate controls, your radio volume. I've got a cell phone holder for my iPhone 7 Plus, your gear shifter, so you got park, reverse, and it pulls up the reverse camera, which is really cool, it gives you the lines, and it uh, gives you an alarm when there's a car nearby. You got neutral and drive, and then I can also do stick shift, and you pull it over, and then you can see there that I'm in high first gear, so that's pretty cool. And put it back in the park. You got a little slot right here. You put like change or something. You got this little spot right here. That's where I did have my phone at first until I got this. Um, then you got uh, two cup holders. And then you got your parking brake. And then you got in here a little console CD player right here. USB auxiliary. You got a pretty decent sized glove box that goes in which is really nice you got your window visors here mirror you can see yourselves uh, your mirror rear view mirror it's tinted at night it's nice you got your uh, sunglass holder right here and the lights garage door openers and then 
get this sunroof. We'll just do the vent. Always at the bottom. And then you can open it all the way. It's really nice. In the back seat, you got little pockets here, little pouch there. You put something in, some change or something. And then you got the seats. This folds down. Two cup holders. Then you've got this little storage spot. And then you can fold this down. And you see into the trunk. And then you can also pull this string. And the seat folds down. So really, really happy with this car, this purchase. It was a big decision for me. Um, I did it all on my own. Spent a lot of time at several different car dealers trying to find what I wanted. I've been looking at this car for several years since they really first came out. Uh, I spent several times at car dealers trying to work the numbers out. The last car dealer I went to, I was there for like seven hours. Um, I had an Uber there to get there and I just stayed there until I got the numbers right. Until I got insurance and signed the paperwork and I did it all on my own. Um, so yeah, it was a big decision. It's a lot of money, but it'd be worth it. So a couple things I'm going to be doing in the future with this car. I'm going to be blacking out the rims. That's coming this week. I just got the paint for that. I'm going to plastic dip those matte black. Um, I got a new crosshair for the front grille. It's going to be red. I got the window vent shades that go on the windows right here. Uh, and I'm going to be tinting the windows soon. I would like to black out the uh, door handles, but I'm not really sure how to do that or if I can do that. Um, so if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. I'll probably end up getting like a uh, subwoofer put in the trunk. Um, I'm going to do something with the exhaust to make it sound a little bit better. really can't think of anything else I'm really going to be putting into it yet. I think that's about it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on what you think I should do, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.